from this lecture we are starting a new chapter and that chapter we will study as uh, motion in a straight line or rectilinear motion for this first we understand in the periphery of physics in the subject of physics what is mechanics mechanics we see the objects around us and things are moving something all this 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 there are few things which are not moving if i put water in a glass the water occupies some space it is not moving but we study some other characteristic of this water like it is pressing the walls of the glass so that is also one topic of study there may be motion of the particles like water is flowing in a river there is a flow air is blowing out the aeroplane is moving in the sky this we call motion in this motion again we study it how number 1 if it is going what do we call this changing position we call it speed then how do we study that speed that is one study when it is less when it is more which are the quantities involved we have developed a science for that then that was a very wide science again we bifurcated it the one why there should be change in the speed okay one is calculation of speed and one is the cause why there is change in this way we made many branches of this study about the things around us all these studies where forces or the push is being applied even if water is not moving in the glass it is having a push on the wall so sometimes this push is giving no motion sometimes this push is giving a motion like water flowing in the river then there are changes in the speed so all these things we have divided we have classified into certain categories and here are the categories all this comes under what branch of physics that is mechanics physics has got many branches to study one we have done that is uh, measurement now we will study mechanics then we will study light we will study waves we will study gravitation we will study heat thermodynamics and so many topics in the physics now what we are starting is mechanics in mechanics we have classified it when the particles material is not moving but it is exerting forces at that time what are the rules what are the calculations all this we will study in statics not moving but applying forces that study statics now if the objects are moving that comes in dynamics dynamic move so in the moving uh, material we make our study in two parts one is kinematics kinematics deals with different quantities like position speed change in speed what we call acceleration and what are the relations between all of them here we do not discuss what is the cause of change of the speed why a particle should stop no we simply study how much time it will take to stop if we give it acceleration so much how much time it will take take to reach top of the building if we give it certain acceleration then how much is this change in the speed all these problems we study in kinematics and then we study dynamics in dynamics we go for the cause of change in speed and what is cause of change in speed is force so in dynamics we study force and this force is making changes making changes 
in motion. The speed is increasing, speed is decreasing and it is pressing, there is a displacement due to forces. So forces are doing so many things in changing the position, changing the speed and other things. So when force is involved and we are doing our study, that study portion is known as pure dynamics where force is involved and what is force cause of change. Now this is only relation between position, speed, acceleration and time. It does not speak about force. So this is one part of study, this is another part of study, this is another part of study. So now we are going to start our first study in kinematics. So from the next lecture we will start what is kinematics, what is motion and what are the relations, what are the different type of motion that all we will study in kinematics in the next lecture.